While scientists freaked out over the nearest star having an Earth-like planet, you may have missed the augmented reality jigsaw and harnessing the power of the sun down under. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where it's been a week of highs and lows for the world's longest airship, which scarily... Well... Just hold on. Okay. Just gonna smash off that into the ground. Any second now. Oh my god, he's actually just broken it. There! A crash land! If crash landings were like living in a bounce house made of Charmin toilet paper. You're not using too much, are you, hon? Unlike airships, bigger is usually better when you're dealing with the sun. That's why researchers from the Australian National University developed the largest solar collector of its kind. It's got a whopping 500 square meter collection area, which concentrates the power equivalent of 2,100 suns. All that energy then heats water to 500 degrees Celsius with a previously unprecedented 97% efficiency. It's a new and exciting industry and um, I think it's got a huge future. So not only is it the biggest, it's also the best at what it does. Not unlike kangaroos or Steve Irwin. Bone jarring headbutts, terrifying close calls, crushing tail wax, cuts, bruises and broken bones. Not that we ever want to live in a world with fewer Tim the Toolman Taylors. <laughs> but more modern DIYers might be interested in a power tool designed to save them from screw ups. Shaper Origin is a perceptive handheld power tool that makes sure your cuts are exactly where you want them. Sharper's new Origin is basically a jigsaw, but also uses augmented reality to guide your cuts with an on-screen map. Visual markers help you lay out your design, then the machine can automatically correct your cut or even retract the blade if you're veering off course. Full retail price will be just over $2,000, but you can get it for $1,500 now. And finally, someone that's clearly never used a power tool because he has all his fingers is Sammy Elu, who recycles instruments, then plays them. He created a piano out of what looks like a harp and chopsticks for some truly funky Aussie music. Cheers, mates!